Charge on in. Oh, aggressive, and it's actually not got too much. Oh, nice Great shot. shots out of Shoxi. A third for good measure, and oh my god, Inters has just denied the, the wrong round. Way. He's looking the wrong way. He's not ready for it. And no, oh, he's blocked his oh, lines. He's whiffed it. And Inters, that is miraculous. <laughs> he's out. Just one on four. He's completely disconnected from the pack. He's miles away. And you've got Kerrigan low. Another headshot from a Deagle. A body shot to follow. You've got a round. They do overlook it. Axile nearly gets away with one more twist. Manages to hold the trigger. Trigger, but that's a lovely shot. And now it's Twists on 22, Kerrigan on 2, and Inter's on 37. He's going to try and work back through the smoke. Bomb's down, 21 seconds. That's going to force time to be a factor because they have to commit to the bomb plan and give Inter's a bit more of a chance in that regard. This could quickly fail. He's heard them jump. He knows they're going for the bomb. He's got the shot on Twisted. Kerrigan's oh. down. Inter's nails it. The HP was the factor. And now Gambit tied the game back up. Has been spotted, I believe. But what a shot that is. Breaks the back of Naphany. And now this is looking very good for the Movistar Riders. Seven seconds remaining. They can plant. A few more twists and turns. Yeah, Inter's will be left in a very tricky situation. Three on one, but has every chance to win it. With the Galil in hand as well. Just needs to find an opening frag. That's not bad. The low HP Martinez is removed. Oh. Davi G taken down as well. One more to go. Inters, have you got it in you? Up against the oh. Mac 10. And he wrecks house there. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Ooh, fast B play. Pistols out. CZ's armor. What these guys are known for, but waterfalls. Apparently known for collaterals. Double kill. Crowd and Berserk dropped. And the split through vents, but he'll still grab another one before he goes down. York picked up from Inters. Good weapon on him as well as he picks up the first two more to get he's gonna get naded and chased but what he hits a no scope doesn't know where the last player is for some reason but now he's been given away the models are forcing him back into checkers 10 hp and he hits the shot what on earth was that inters finds four kills Alex there with the orb the smoke will come oh. in he hits the shot onto hobbit and it's all down to inters in a 1v3 they run through the smoke he hits the headshot 16 seconds he's gonna plant the bomb they're gonna push from either side try and split him down the middle but they don't actually hark commit to this. He gets the bomb off. He walks oh, into the smoke oh. of his back turn. He's got the timing off. This could be insane for Inters. All he's got to do is play into perfection. Sprays against Config into the 1v1. Farlig jumps on a bomb. Tries to bait him to re -peak. He's going into the back. He's going to line up the shot and shut it down. Inters, the madman for players, clutches it out. That is disgusting. Bomb well, we will be getting planted here, but the question is, can Gambit hold it off? I got three guys. Both the first guy. This is gonna be really difficult. Jerry sprays down Hero, and now it's down to Inters. He gets the first, but he has to find two more. And yeah, there we go. The defuse is coming in. He's on top of the side. He sprays him. Oh, he sees him on top of the side. No, he doesn't. Oh, he goes for the spray and gets it. So, what? How does it win the round? Being put down, but if they were to find him without any trade, suddenly Complex's defense would be out of balance. Rush making a good job grabbing Axile before he dies. Now that's an avenue of opportunity. Now Shira's gonna be posted here, ready to punish whoever peeks towards that window. Miguel is not gonna be able to prevail. Blame with good positioning. Yeah, Blame efforts ready to lock that down. Shiro. He's up with Inters and Blame. He falls for the trap. Oh. Inters is not done yet. He's brought him back into this round. He doesn't want to show face now. The plant's going to come in. Complexity haven't been able to stop it, but Config, he's pushed on forward. He wants to jump through the window and try and make some magic happen. They might not expect his position at all here. Inter's behind the wall. He's looking to try and hold on, but Config, he's trying to sideswipe him. He doesn't quite expect oh. it. Config misses a key shot. The reload's coming in. Inter's set to get the ace clutch. No way. Is it? Oh. Oh. Inter's a madman saves the day for Gambit. Really does mean that a chest shot could be enough. Sticko gonna have to do it all as they rotating in his direction minimum of a kill needed and Shiro just gonna be holding back with the AWP but he actually goes down from the peak in turns finds one back however and he does have that dirty deeg in hand he even retrieves an AK there's a definite possibility here it's gonna come down to the timing because bear in mind both players at the moment on that CT side are pushing him with AWPs not the ideal weapon he gets the first already and doubles up his kills it's left on to Makaleli to try and save the CTs in this round and it turns is gonna have it a 1v3 clutch a big round for the youngsters Messi does he have eyes in the back of his head? Is he considering it? Yes, but it doesn't matter. Inters with a kill. 20 seconds. He actually has a good okay, bit yeah, of room. I can't believe I just, no one yeah. else is here. I don't think you're ready for this because Inters went cold. They, he thinks they're close. They think he was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> he fakes it out, no one but knows. he's selling his own round.
Yeah, now he's low on time. Now these rotates are right here. The Barbarians are at the gate. Inters just tucking himself away. Wins that first fight. Roy's out oh. of the round. And so is Crims. Inters wins the clutch. And Cloud9 on the ball with their first. There's the X Factor. There's the Cloud9 we know and love, right? Showing so up. up for this retake already. But Inters has other plans. Seeing if he can find one more player on the rotation. The trades have been massive, but the rotation this time will not come through. It's an AWP over and short, which will not ring out. Now the CTs are moving in. They will find the oh. kill aerial. Oh. Oh, will fall. Inters with the two quick frags. Knows where Zori is coming in from. Zori call oh. out. Inters will find them their first gun round and locks them at 10 for now. But 2k in hand. The repick off the flash comes on through. And there's oh. four in front of them here, but they can't land the kills. It's fine. With the flashes and an evil exchange, we find ourselves in a 4v4. And Red's gonna change that even oh! more! What was that? Inters! The flick! Oh, and it just spirals. Jeez, I don't even think I saw him turn around. It looked like he bent the bullet. That was Rez's frag all day long, but nope. Chuck Tester. <laughs> that was crazy from Slowy. Oh, and this is a great little push from Saw right there. It gives his team a little bit of information and he nets a kill. And Inters, he has a, he has a lot of options still here in the four. 45 seconds that are remaining, but it will be a pretty difficult position as he likely has to face off dry against this op right here. Uh, he's just clearing all his angles out. Zori will be pushing on forward. This might be an opportunity. Inter is actually able to take him down, and Hoodie is so far away at this point right now. Inters did just spot him out, so this is a going. This is going to be a free bomb plant. He does still have a nade, can potentially inflict a little bit of damage, but I think he just kind of wants to get rid of it at this point. Just throws it right at the door. And will he find the timing? He's playing around the Xbox on the bomb site, and Gambit will be able to find their second round off of that. Gonna go far enough. He does jump back inside of the site, got away with it, and Hobbit was dropped by Kerrigan. He went low on the first exchange through the smoke, and that fully shuts it down because Brokey knows that call was made that the second man's dead. They're not going to push through. There's no hustle from FaZe to get over to the B bomb site, though, despite the fact that they're in a five on three. It's rain all alone. That second orange is up on top. If they find this kill, they're in. Swiss is arriving now. Napping to turn the corner, immediate headshot from Rain. He's gonna drop down, he's got no backup. But he can still fight to the death. Shiro and Inter's gonna have access to the B bomb site. Plant going down now, but such a difficult one to hold on to the post plant. There's the peak, two quills, quick. Oh, and another one. I Famos. cannot believe it. Famos just can't do it for Twist. He can't get the aim. He couldn't find the shot that would have opened up the site for them. And Inter's holds with the AK. Cloud9 shut down the first gun rounds. And what a response. You're right. Rain was left all by himself. He does tank a nade to the face, though. Asilian waiting for his swing. Catches that player off. Inter's 18 seconds. He's going to wait. Swing on Jabby. Take him down. Look to the bomb planter of Nodios. Here towards the forward boxes. And he does not find his spray through as the smoke clears. The adjustment can come back from the Fama and turn it to a one versus one. He needs to find Asilian quick, though. He's got no kit. Asilian he doesn't know that. Faced in, shot close, not quite landing, and he's going to go for the very wide face and try and isolate this player. He'll get it in the end, have plenty of time for the defuse too. Exile checks corner. Comes back out, Brokey tags. That's going to put him very low. It allows Inters to collect, but Rop's doing the same damage that Twisted capitalized on. Still the kill's level. It's a two versus two, AK Galil for Inters. And Shiro, respectively, but Rain now having picked up a Galil has Kerrigan's scout to work with, and that scout can be oh so deadly. Shiro's gonna start it off though. No deadly dealt this time, as it is another round for the players. Yeah, and they're going to be okay with that, obviously, but it's it's got to be, I mean, from from a spectator perspective, it's like, oh man, FaZe is making pretty much any buy be dangerous. Their crossfires, they're executing so well. We saw it on Inferno, we're seeing it now here, even with some decent kills from Inters, the Deagles ringing out and doing great, great work. On the site. Oh, but they use that Vomus pretty well, however, two kills come down. Yeah, then Shiro's got a little bit more to give. Nothing else from behind the truck. Needs to be the Inters clutch, and as Maui alluded to, he's been playing very well. Hit some solid flanks on Vertigo. But at this point, there's nobody to take attention away from him still. Fuzi looks away. Ooh, enters with a second. Ooh. He's got the head right ahead. Oh my god. Esetag, who's been off to a great start with his eight and two, can just fall back and play bomb, but it's not even at the halfway point yet. No, oh. enters. Yeah, right. From the bank, he cashes out, wins the clutch oh, for Gambit. Oh man, they toss that away. No way enters pulls off a 1v3 like that. Smoke, no utility otherwise. Electronic managed to get one kill as Boomin's pre fires and sprays back into the site. That made 
Oh, that was a great position. Good setup from Navi. And now Boomich is in the pit, can play the half wall. And a brilliant shot by Izu. This down awkward lead, it just enters. Although this is an awkward battle indeed as Pit gets caught out. And he's actually managed to jump inside of the site without taking any damage. Despite being Boomich shot at for two players at the same time. Yeah, this, yeah, that's a good point. And the bomb's up on the balcony, I would imagine. So this is awkward. Perfecto, I feel like, can't actually stray that far away from Boomich. Yeah, I, he's, he's in so much trouble. He's actually kind of screwed. Playing ring around the rosy. Legitimately, he does get one left swipe. But it, now it's on Perfecto, who had to basically abandon him. And this is tough. Glock Ooh. long range, got the cushion. and that doesn't feel good. Perfecto's gonna go down. Good win from Inters. Bursting through on Frozen's position, but cannot seem to land a kill against him. It's a five versus three for Mouse Balls. Inters and Afani finally chime in. Rop still on site though. Suppressed to his left, backups coming in behind him. Akor gets a kill on Shaw, and Rop strikes on Axile. Left it Inters again to cluck this one versus three. Swing on Rops, great headshot. Now two more to find. The bomb can also get planted. That time is definitely low, but he's thinking about taking some more jewels. Does he try to fake it out? No, just stick the bomb. No bait on BMAC. A call looking up with the AWP. The shot's ringing out from the from Master. The AWP has been seen, tapped up, not taken down. And BMAC, his information has been given up. Inters knows what's going on. He's just got to check the right place at the right time and turn it to a 1v1. A quadra clutch for him now. Looking to the left arch. Will a core give him the angle? Inters. Just waiting, running timer out. Accor's gonna make the move in. He's got two flashes, not gonna use either of them. Pistol pulled out, footsteps heard. In just, just gonna wait until the right moment to strike and hold the round together. Another clutch win for Gambit. Here they come to the site. AK's moving up. Nafani in the back corner. Harry's gonna get that kill, doubling up. Shiro takes down one and two. Hall's like trades him, so it's all left to Inters in the 1v3. Gets that first kill. Can't quite find a second man. of smoke's gonna keep him suppressed. Bomb plant fakes once. He's creeping around. No player checking his position. Harry just turns attention back over now. And no! Oh! Transfers itself to the 3k. And Inters. It's over. They wanna get here fast enough to try and cause a problem. And they've actually got here perfectly in time. It's Lack and Smiley picking up two kills. Axel and Inters as they pull it back, but it's all on Inters now. A 1v3. What has happened here? Seven rotate fast enough to cause a problem, and I Inters has to clutch. There's the first. They know where he is. Lax has done a good job not to overextend, but he has not. That's the third kill for Inters. Now, the last player left is Kinder. Off towards short. 22 seconds left to try and recover the bomb. Kinder should hear the footsteps. As soon as he hears the tap, you'll peek out into the open. Inters knows where the last player is, but he still can't get the kill. 14 seconds left. He has to try and recover the bomb, and Kinder walks into the open.